Today's video is about for uh, the art supplies. And uh, if you ask me what is the basic, the basic is the basic pencil is this. It's a normal uh, pencil. And you can use this for your sketching if you want to sketch first to draw first what you want and then you can use also this to mark for the head cup of your bgd if you want to use that and this is non-toxic no lead in this um uh product it's from the beak okay and I use also this children um, pencil color and it's the name Dico, Dijiko, Dijiko and it's made from France and I don't have a research for this but I will consider this as an antitoxic that is AP and these are the colors you can use in many combinations of the projects these are all 12 colored pencils and we will go to the advanced uh, advanced color these are the advanced color. These are all power castle um, pencil. And this said in the label that that is uh, AP, and it means to say that that is non toxic. But um, for misusing of this product, it can be harmful for the health okay I would consider that Faber Castell has um, yeah has a uh, synthetic uh, chemicals in it or lead and we must be cautious with this and these are my choice of colors that I want to use for the eye that is the white and this the gray and this the silver I use that for the monster high and the white and the brown and the white and the brown these are the brown oh, where's the brown I think this is the black and the blue and the white Oh yeah, the brown. So, yeah, this um, brown, it's also um, very useful for the shading of the eye and the eyebrow. And the black is mostly useful for the shading of the pupils, the eyes. And this is for the shading, the white mostly uh, used for the shading underneath of the eye. And this blue is an optional for me. These are all uh, Faber Castell. Um, Faber Castell. So. So these are these are the, the colors and have to be cautious to use this one and separate to your art uh, cabinet. I also use this Guachi Art Creations and the label of this is non toxic as. Uh, as you see is AP 
and this is watercolor yes this is watercolor and some use only watercolor derwent if you want to use watercolor derwent it's good it's fine there's no wrong of that as long that it's it's uh, fit to your your needs and to your taste uh, every every individual of this hobby they have their own taste of what they like but the most common uh, common um, colors is that is the uh, brown black and white and um, you can use the, the, that uh, color like this black derwent in tints this black is black and for this uh, uh, derwent in tints um, this very useful for the shading of the people. And this one, what I have in my hands, this is a um eraser. It is a refillable eraser. And I don't know if you see the name in it. I'm sorry if I'm shaky. Is there any label in it that is? I think this is not harmful. Some eraser are good, but manufactured with uh, uh, from Japan. So I don't have a doubt with a product come from Japan, aside Chin Chinese um, Chinese product, but China's product of the colors and watercolors. It's not bad. It's also useful. I also use this other pastels. These are pan pastel, and this is ultra soft. And this is the red iron oxide dent. I will say that I uh, don't see any note of symbols here, but I will say this is AP. So non toxic, but we will say it's AP or CL. Combined with that symbols, okay. So, when CL, it means to say that is highly toxic that can cause a uh, cancer, and that is, yeah, carcinogenic um chemicals. And I also like this color. Uh, this is um permanent red tint. And it's not red, it's pinkish. And this the and this one is from the from the art creations from the watercolor, you know. <laughs> because I use this one as pa pilot in it. So, so the sometimes I use this for, for the cheeks to shade. Um and this is um, this is the result of, uh, of these combinations, the blue and this one. And that's the result of this from the Monster High. I'm not a pro artist, as I said. So I'm just a hobbyist, a curious hobbyist who loves to you know to uh, do some crafts and some arts and um and the sealant that i use for for the monster high is this this is um watercolor gucci and it, it's a protecting spray from a as you see, it's from Talens. And this is water-based, but it's mixed with gas. It's very flammable. It's hazardous for the environment. 
So you have the precautions to use this one. And and for another advanced varnish, this new Liquitex uh, professional varnish. This is in matte varnish. It's very good. And as I said, this varnish is um mixed with gas and have to go to, to use this one and read all the labels in here if you can read because it's very small and see and you can first use the label of this or ask or make a research you can make a lot of research before you start with this advanced uh, advanced pencil color uh, advanced varnishes advanced uh, you know other var uh, varnish like this uh, galleria acrylic mediums from Winston Newton and this can be also used from another medium and it is labeled AP for non-toxic but I'm misusing this product it can be harmful for the glazes um, use this uh, varnish Van Dyke Van Holland acrylic varnish gloss it's that and the label of this it wasn't said for the label so I will say it is AP and toxic um, gloss varnish gloss and this Liquitex is uh, they said here it's a uh, low odor water base and yeah this is a very um, this is a very good product from Liquitex, uh, Liquitex professional varnish and you have to spray this for uh, uh, a meter of uh, I think five meter or distance to spray and you have to use with the must because these are all uh, these are all um, you know these are semi toxic I will say it's toxic because of the gas in it even it's water soluble must use with the um, gas mask or paper mask you can you can ask for for your art store for some information if you want and and for um, air brushing um, this is the, the liquidix uh, airbrush medium that is fluidy font uh, in 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 French word and this for the effects it can mix with uh, the colors for the pastels for the derivant pastels but mostly they use this one only for the acrylic but I just mix it with Ecolini and that's not I don't have any problem but if you want to be more more uh, uh, you know more vibrant and more more effects on it you have to stick for what is the instruction okay i use this uh ecolini and i will say that this watercolor is the label of ap it does not state what is the label of symbols here so but i will say it's ap we don't need to to, to paint this in our in our skin or in or inhaling it and 
And even this color, we don't try to, you know, to, you know, to try to, to paint in our, our hands or in our skin because these are not lipsticks. These are, these are advanced or professional pencils, and there, there are chemicals in it. And I also like to use this acrylic. Uh, acrylic artist from Winston, uh, Windsor Newton, from Matchell, and it's also nice for some project. But for for the face of the PGD, it's uh, Derwent Intens Black and Brown Faber Castells. Um, and a uh, white uh white intense white intense and for uh the black you can use faber castells and the brown you can also use the faber castells so so that's it and these are my sets of colors of my choice and um, some advanced or some non-advanced um, you know hobbyists or some artists these um, this this airbrush and this airbrush is Iwata it is the uh, beginners uh, airbrush new for Iwata CN uh, but if you want to invest a good one you can uh, you can invest the Iwata Happy A plus and that is and that is for um, yeah for the advanced um, highline airbrushes and you can choose what um, compressor I'm using this compressor and um, every water airbrushes um, they have a specification for this for the usage it must not exceed 100 and the happy A, it must only 98 PSI, and for this it's only for 38, but I use only for one bar. So you see there is only one bar, and two bars it's already 38 PSI. So that's it. And yeah, this is a very good sealant. It's water base it's toxic so you have to be careful with this product and this is not for you know this is not for the beginners uh, this is this this material is for the advanced so if you are a beginner I guess you have to first use another kind of liquid uh, varnish uh, like this and this is uh, like this and this is medium gloss varnish and um, it's fluid medium but it can also as varnish you can use it with a big brush to stroke smoothly okay and this most uh, this product mostly used for uh, acrylic but I used to combine it with the uh, with this equal equal line for my airbrushing so I hope that you learned something from uh, from my um, materials and 
uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy what watching this and and if you want to you know to know more about this advanced pencil colored uh, power castles and their rent intense you can go to dick blick uh, uh, pont com and you will see all the description of this product in different brand names okay uh, okay by the way um i forgotten <laughs> i forgotten i have one i want to show you the this um this uh, uh pastels uh, this is um conor a uh, co-inor pastels this is labeled ap and cl so have to be careful with this when using with this and and this are uh, this pastas can be used also for you know for shading of the face of the doll from the B BGD but most uh, people they use a schmink schminky schminky and a schminky that is a uh, uh, schminky means uh, to paint and uh, that is a Dutch word and or uh, uh, I think this um, I think this uh, uh, co I know it is from made from I think I think this made from Berlin I think or in France um, I like this uh, toys on or titanium white um, uh, I don't know if that is really from French but you can I think it's from Berlin or France but you can look from the from this label so I would say just go to the dick blick I will uh, put the link in it and these are my my choice of pastels but mostly i use this pastels so this is it and yeah thank you for for watching and see you next time for See you next time for my um my other video and I hope you enjoy <laughs> watching this. I will say have a nice day and bye bye.